During the middle of the 14th century, plague spread across Europe, killing millions of people. It is estimated that more than 25 million died during the first outbreak, which lasted from about 1347 to 1353. The Black Death, as it was later named, was so devastating that many thought it would destroy the world. A major cause of the disaster was rats. Rats were everywhere in the Middle Ages, even in the homes of the rich and powerful. They were so common that most people paid them little attention. But rats carried a deadly bacteria in their blood, a bacteria that would kill one out of every three to four people in Europe. But how did the bacteria spread from rats to humans? The fleas suck blood from their hosts. And that's really how the plague was spread. The flea would go from the rats to the humans and, and back again. That very action spread the plague even more rapidly as it, as it deposited bacteria. These tiny creatures, pound for pound, must be one of those deadly animals on the planet. Fleas live on the bodies of animals like rats and feed on their blood. Adult fleas can jump up to 200 times their own length in search of fresh blood. When infected insects make the jump from rats to humans, they carry the plague with them. Once people are infected, they infect others very quickly. Plague had broken out before in East Asia and had gradually spread westward to Europe and North Africa, but had subsided after killing large numbers of people. However, one strain of the disease survived in Mongolia. In the 1200s, Mongol armies conquered city after city in Asia. As they moved across the land, they brought the plague with them from Mongolia to China and then to the wealthy Black Sea trading city of Kaffa. The Mongols attacked Kaffa in 1347. They fought fiercely, but no matter how hard they tried, they couldn't capture the walled city. Finally, the Mongols thought of a plan. In a primitive form of biological warfare, the Mongols took the bodies of soldiers who had died from the plague and catapulted them over Kaffa's walls. The people of Kaffa fell victim to the plague and the Mongols took the city. But before they did, a small group of Italian sailors escaped. They fled Kaffa and sailed back to Europe under cover of night. Some of the sailors were already infected from breathing Kaffa's contaminated air. The rats on the ship took care of the rest. Plague-infested ships like the one from Kaffa carried the Black Death to Mediterranean ports. When the sailors reached these places, it was as if they had brought evil spirits with them. Every city was poisoned by the contagious pestilence. Men and women died suddenly. While they hugged and kissed us, they were spreading the poison. The Black Death struck with stunning speed. Within hours, victims developed large, swollen black spots on the skin of their armpits, necks, and thighs. Some gave off an intolerable stench. Others spit or vomited blood. Those who spit blood very rarely recovered. Thousands of people fled the cities for their lives. They left their homes and their loved ones and headed for what they hoped was the safety of the countryside.
many people realized that the spread of the disease had something to do with the movement of people and trade between countries. But leaders who might have taken action had other problems. The church was in upheaval, divided by spiritual crisis and scandal. And England and France, two of Europe's kingdoms, were embroiled in the terrible conflict known as the Hundred Years' War. Despite war and plague, it was business as usual for European merchants. Goods and rats from the Middle East kept arriving in European ports, and traders moved across the continent selling their wares. In late 1348, trade across the English Channel brought the Black Death to England. Soon, the plague killed about a third of the people in London. Giant emergency burial sites, like this one at the Charterhouse Monastery, were created to handle the dead. Then, as quickly as it came, the plague was gone but it would return several times until the 18th century. There's probably two reasons why the Black Death outbreak came to an end. One is that the population that survived had some form of natural immunity to the, to the bacillus. The second is that the rats that were carrying the plague themselves died. The plague, which had ravaged Europe for six years, was over for a while. Gradually, Europeans rebuilt their countries and their lives, but memories of the Black Death still remained, and even today aroused fear and horror around the world. <laughs>